Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make strawberry jam. Let's begin. So to start on the recipe you'll want to grab yourself a large saucepan and into that place your strawberries which have been chopped and hauled. Then you can go ahead and add in the sugar and give it all a good mix just to, to incorporate the two. And once that's done, you can then go ahead and add in some water and just mix it. This is to help loosen the consistency, so you may need to add more or less than me, but again, that's completely up to you. You can then go ahead and place the saucepan over a medium high heat and just give it a mix to start with. And then once you start to see bubbles, allow it to bubble away for a while as that's what helps picking it up, giving it a good stir so it doesn't catch on the bottom. So you may need to be right by the oven, stirring it constantly. And as you're stirring it, you'll notice that it's starting to thicken up. And once you get to this thicker consistency where you can see there's less liquid and it falls from the spoon nicely like that, that's when you know you're done. So grab yourself a sterilized mason jar or kilner jar and pour the mixture into it. Try and do it neater than what I did it because as you can tell, I didn't do it very neatly, did I? So that is how you make strawberry jam. You'll then want to allow this to cool completely before you refrigerate it, otherwise it'll warm your fridge up and that's just a nightmare. So leave it to cool completely before you put it in the fridge or enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again next week with some more recipes for you to join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. There'll be links to my blog, this recipe directly and all of my social media, so don't forget to go and follow me on there. But yeah, that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.